My name is Glenn Pearson. I'm a teacher in Senior Collegiate, and I currently have a grade 9 10 locally developed split. And we have uh, decided to take on a single large project. Hi there, everyone. My name is Mrs. Bryant. I'm the EPAs here at Senior Collegiate Institute, the coolest one. Uh, all joking aside, um, we're working on an interesting uh, math project here, uh, putting together a scale model of our existing school, which will be going through some changes in the next coming years. Um, here's a little picture of what the kids have done so far. And uh, currently, I think we've got everything except one measurement. Um, I'm looking forward to this project just to see all of the different skills and abilities that the kids can bring to the table and how they do it their problem solving skills. We're here to help them out and I think we're going to end up with an awesome job. Check in with us later. We first sketched a blueprint of the school by using the projector and Google Maps. We taped paper onto the screen and we had to zoom the screen to the paper. Then we traced the outline of the school with pencil. We spent two days measuring the outside of the building. There are lots of complex angles and grooves of the school. Some of them were easy to measure and others were more difficult. There were a variety of materials and tools used in this project. Popsicle sticks, hot glue guns, construction paper, scissors, measuring tape, a measuring stick, white glue, and an aspenite base. We had to find out what the scale was. The scale is one centimeter equal one meter. I'm Rebecca and I did a film video for each of them. My name is Cody, we're doing a project for the school. For the animal, for the animal. My name is Liz Cullen, I'm going to do a project for the I go to Standard Collegiate Institute. I am in Mr. Pearson's math class, and we are building a structure of the school. I'm Ethan. I'm Titan. We're building uh, the school, like a scale model of the school. And uh, we're uh, making it. We attend at SCI, State of Collegiate. We're in Pearson's class. Mr. Pearson's an awesome teacher. I'm, I'm Sterling, I'm in Mr. Pearson's class. We're building a scale model of the school. I'm Liam, here at State of Collegiate. Uh, in this project, I helped out with certain help out with the filming and measuring. My name's Jordan, and we're making a sale model. Hey, I'm Jesse, I'm Mr. Pearson's class, and we're building a model of school. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Janice Ellerby and I am the principal of Stainer Collegiate Institute. And it is my pleasure to be speaking with you this afternoon with regard to our grade nine and 10 math class under the direction of Mr. Pearson. These lovely ladies here are interviewing me today to find out more about their math class and what they're doing. And I am ex absolutely ecstatic to say that they are doing some amazing hands-on learning of math in their class. Um, what you might ask? Well, they're actually taking all of their understanding of area and perimeter and estimation and, uh, and scale and ratios and proportions and they're building a real-life scale model of Standard Collegiate. How much more awesome could that be? I'm Mrs. Prairie, the Vice Principal at Standard Collegiate Institute, and our students are looking at doing projects that take teaching and learning into the 21st century. We know that students are going to be looking at having to be problem solvers and innovators, and so we are looking at our school doing projects such as this for them to be able to learn how to be innovative in the classroom. Guys, I'm Jesse Briggs from Mr. Pearson's math class from New Lowell. Uh, the video's doing good, the structure's doing good. We're just finishing putting up the windows, and that's our video. See ya. The challenges was not working together. How we overcame this was we had a talk, and uh, 
well, basically, we decided we don't have to do this. I mean, this was something that we wanted to do. We could do lots of other things, like building bridges or not building at all. We could just stick to worksheets, but this is something we wanted to do. And uh, that kind of motivated us to work together as a team because we don't really have to do this. Some of the um, challenges of this uh, project would be uh, working with uh, people that you don't really hang out with. And uh, how you solve that is just uh, work with them for a certain amount of time. Yep. Initially the students struggled with the idea of open-ended learning. So I think a lot of them weren't very confident in what skill set they had to offer the project. Once we got into the project a little further, a lot of students stepped up and pursued their interests in the project as well as demonstrating their skill sets that they could offer. One particular pair it was near the end of the project before they realized that they were very interested in the documentary where initially the primary focus of their skills were directed towards building and this was less productive than when they got involved in the video editing itself. Hey everyone, this is Wine here. Way to go. You've done a great job. And it's nice to see the perseverance in all of you. Push through all the issues you've had to get this project complete. The scale model is almost done and it looks awesome. Um, it's been interesting and very nice to watch you guys um, grow individually and as a team. Uh, hats off to Mr. Pearson for coming up with this idea. Without your leadership and dedication, it may not have uh, rolled out the way it has and kudos to the kids for toughing it out. Um, great job, great work, can't wait to see what you guys have to offer next year. It was great to see the students making mistakes and then learning from their mistakes, problem solving, collaborating, communication, all these soft skills became evident throughout the project and the efficiency of how much they were able to accomplish in, in a given period definitely increased toward in the second half of the project. I learned about um, measurement and how to, any material, how to make the school. You have to know not to be bossy and care, care about people when you're doing the project. Yes, we have to do like a lot of problems, all of them, so we still got it under control. from this project is to kind of work together as a team a little bit more and uh, some of skills which I've learned is uh, how to work with popsicle sticks, really flimsy pops popsicle sticks. I really don't like them but I learned how to use them. So I think the project came along really great. Uh, the structural building with popsicle sticks was a very tough challenge but we overcame it and the outcome, well, we built the school and it feels really good to know that we can do all this. So um, uh, we're just chilling out, you know. You know chilling out. Just chilling out the SCA. Is this thing on? <laughs> Is it on? Bro! Check you later, dude! Check you later!